Hey you guys, uh, I've been meaning to do this update for a while um, for the disassembly of the Cintiq Companion. Uh, I figured now's a good time uh, because a user on the Insanely Mac forum, uh, Chuppy Jones, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but he found a wireless card that is compatible in OS X, so I ordered that and I have it now. Uh, I just want to talk quickly about the packaging that it came in. Um, it's a little ridiculous, so this will get recycled. Let me show you. When I first got it, I was just like, what the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, that... That came in this. Anyway, so I'm gonna, this will probably be a two-part video. Um, the teardown so everybody can know how to take it apart to upgrade the memory and uh, storage and all that stuff and hopefully this wireless if it works um, It actually looks like it might need to be cut because I think there are wrong number of prongs on it, but we will see uh, and then the second part will be Installing this and testing it out. So let's get into it. Uh, all right, I want to warn you guys my Cintiq's pretty beat up obviously from all the shit that I've been doing to it I was designing a case I had it in molds and Sanders and all the shit. So uh, if you're squeamish look away uh, First of all, it's a good idea to set it on something soft mine's already like I said beat to shit, but uh Take care of yours so the case actually works pretty decent. Uh, take everything out of the USB ports, like uh, this wireless dongle, which hopefully we won't be needing. All right, uh, and then you will slowly take a dirty uh, flathead screwdriver, anything um, pretty pretty thin. And then slowly pry along the edges. Take your time. Um, the biggest resistance is a industrial grade um, adhesive they have underneath. I pried this open a minute ago, so it's going to be easier for me this time. But for you guys, it's going to be a lot tougher. Um, mainly, I just want to show you where the, the points are. And then once you pop this edge up, you'll want to slide it out here because there's these uh, little pieces that actually go slide in. And then you'll slide that back in when you reassemble it and then pop, push it down. Um, the strong adhesive is all along the edge here. As you can see, mine's all tore up because I'm kind of reckless. So you you be more careful. I don't think I've really broken any pins on the large one. On the smaller tabs I'll, I'll show you but um, so here they are there will be um, the corner ones and then these edge ones all along here and I yeah I think these corner ones are probably good to start with um, just kind of put it down in there and slowly pry it out but be careful not to break any of these and you're doing all this at your own risk I'm not responsible if you fuck it up I yeah so be careful but it's it's doable and it's worth it to upgrade 16 gigs of RAM and uh, larger storage and all that good stuff and these ones I pretty sure I cracked um, coming along the edges again I'm 
get some better lighting. You can see I have latex still on this from trying to make a mold. I need to clean it up. So go along the edge of this also and then slowly pry it up. I'm pretty sure I broke the tabs on these smaller ones because they're a bitch to get up and at first I didn't think it was possible but I figured there had to be a way in, there had to be screws somewhere. There is more of that adhesive and then you see that bitten up tab that's pretty much useless. So there will be a tab on each side, they're both, uh, yeah, it's pretty much being held on with the adhesive. So be careful there, um, yeah, as always I was pretty reckless. There's a screw, and get the last rubber protector off. This one's not as bad, but still pretty bad. Adhesive and then the two tabs. All right, now for the screws. You're gonna want a smallish uh, Phillips screwdriver. I'm gonna go ahead and something about that size. So next we want to take out um, these silver screws and these black screws here. So make sure you put them somewhere safe, you're not going to lose them. I'm going to do that now. Um, as you can see I have a bunch of silicone in here that's not normally there. I, I was uh, fabricating a case for this antique uh, with a built-in stand. And I had a working prototype, but it wasn't sturdy enough with the material I was using. Um, I eventually gave up because I was spending too much time and money on it. And, which is unfortunate because it would have been a great case, but if anybody wants to pick that up, I have about three master molds of different materials, plaster and silicone and latex. Um, Thinking about 3D printing something if I can model it. But for now I just don't really have the time. It's unfortunate because I did so much cosmetic damage to the Cintiq while it was in the molds and trying to fabricate the case, but you live and you learn and it wasn't completely wasted. It was an experience at least I guess. So now that all of these screws are out. Um, you can leave these black ones then because those are for the battery, so those shouldn't matter. Um, you're gonna you can push in either of these holes and then pull back on the silver casing, and then you'll feel the separation of the screen, the front black part here. Um, this metallic tape will detach. Don't worry about it. You can reattach it. Um, so go ahead and pull that gently. You might need the flathead again to separate. Yeah, you'll start hearing some pops. Um, just be gentle, take your time. And go along this side first because you're going to sort of slide the other side off of the USB ports. 
so this will detach the tape here sort of slide it off. Alright, and we're in. So what this looks like inside. Alright. And there it is. Alright, so like I was saying, um, you're going to want to line up these holes in the back plate with the USB and access ports. So just kind of slide that in place and then start pushing it together. You'll hear it click and crack and all that shit. Now for this end, you have to make sure that this um, toggle matches up with this one. Uh, normally it's in the up position so make sure that that's in there correctly and test it out. Yeah that's right. these pieces of silver tape. It'll take a little force um, to get it all back together, but not too bad. And looks about right. So there you have it, probably the worst uh, teardown video of all time because I don't own a tripod, but uh, I'll put a link for the part in the description. I think it's about $25 and well worth it. Also there's more pictures on the blog for uh, the teardown, so hopefully this helps you guys. Take care.